Hello and welcome to this edition of Crossover. I'm Ji Xiaojun with Dominic. Hello. And our new friend Wang Kuo. Hi there. Good to have you here in Crossover. Excited. Excited. And uh, we understand Wang Kuo is from the area which neither of us are familiar with. There's I know, it's a topic. It's a social, social work. Social work. My love. Tell us once again, what is social work and what is, what is a social worker? Right, right. Well, it really depends on how you understand it. I mean, social work, I think a lot of people would categorize it as like a, a volunteer work. So going somewhere, you have a heart to ha to help somebody, mm -hmm. and then you know you show up and uh, try to help somebody. Uh, a lot of people think that's social work. Uh, in a in a professional sense, social work is uh, is a category. Uh, a social worker is kind of like a doctor or a lawyer or a businessman. You need to be professionally trained, and okay. social work is your occupation. It's a profession, and you do this on a daily basis. You know, I received the uh, official professional social work education in the U.S. So. Oh, in the U.S.? In the U.S., so, but, yes. it, but then it's a very broad spectrum there, isn't it? Oh, it is. It is so, very broad. So did you specialize in something socially, or um, you, would you do cover the full spectrum? Um, not really. Uh, we, we covered a whole wide range, uh, individuals, families, group, you know, also the uh, seniors, uh, well, anything. You know, so what is your area then? Well, it was, it was all of those. All of them? Yeah, because of uh, all the courses that we study, all the work that we did, you know, mm -hmm. in the field. It covers a wide You're range. You're like of a family doctor. You do everything. Well, I'm lucky. You know? <laughs> but it, but I'm in, a lucky well, yeah. uh, in America, Obama has introduced some form of welfare to the real needy. But if you were a well, social worker in right. the United States, right. are you working for the state or are you working for charities or is it both? It could be anything. It could be a lot of things. You can work for a hospital. You can work for schools. You can work for the government. You can work for, um, you know, uh, correction facilities. NGOs. I mean, everywhere. Oh, NGOs, definitely charities, mm. and also you can work for companies. Some companies hire social workers mm. to deal with their uh, internal problems. Well, so well, you still... know, social workers play such a broad range of roles in a society. Uh, uh, what is the difference between a social worker and people like us? You know, sounds like a joke. Yeah, yeah. Well, <laughs> employed by different organizations, uh, unless you're s formally trained. Uh, through a so uh, we're through formally a, trained. Mm -hmm. Well, academic social work program. You know, it's got to be social work major. Mm. You know, for me, I was uh, trained uh, in a master's level of social work program. Now, so, do we have that subject, say, back in Chinese universities? I think they do. They start to have uh, that program right now for the uh, some of the undergraduate and also master's programs. I actually. The other day, I was doing a lecture at the uh, Peking University. Mm -hmm. uh, some of the students uh, in the audience, they actually, they are studying social work uh, on the uh, graduate level. Mm -hmm. So I was, I was happy to see that because mm -hmm. uh, when I went to the U.S. first time, that was back in 1998, uh, there was hardly any social work program in the Chinese institutions. Mm -hmm. And now uh, there's a lot of them. Uh, I've met people who have uh, studied social work here in China. Not only a lot of them, because according to the Minister of Civil Affairs, and uh, there, is a, there was a co press conference on the 13th of uh, March right, that's right. on the sidelines of the exactly. two sessions, NBC right. and CPPCC. And according to the Minister, uh, currently we have over 300,000 social workers right, in right. the country, which is Nothing. I mean, it's compared to the oh, it's huge nothing. size yeah. of population, right. and according to their plan, they're about to train uh, by 2015 <laughs> two million, and by 2020 three million. Still not much, but I mean, there's a huge an increase from right. uh, the current 300,000. But where do they go? Uh, that's my question too. Uh, number one, I thought you knew it. Well, <laughs> you know, you know. well yeah. in the U.S., I would know where exactly they mm -hmm. go. But here in China, I'm not quite sure where where would they go because, um, well, number one, when I look at the number, I'm like, you know, how can you do that in three, you know, short years, two three years, mm -hmm. uh, to increase the number to two million? I mm -hmm. mean, that's a huge jump. And also, where do you put these people? When you talk about social work, it comes down to a system supporting mm -hmm. social workers to provide services for people in need. And just like in the U.S., you have the government, the federal government, you have the state, mm -hmm. you have county, you have city, you have you know uh, even smaller NGOs. And these are you know entities that provide social work services. Mm -hmm. And here in China, you know it's not a very complete system yet. So. If you don't have a system, you don't have all these places, where do you put the you know, social workers? In the, in the, you know, that's kind of my question, too. In the too, community so. where I live, there's yeah. a place called the Residence Committee. Right, right. Which is right. made up of retired old ladies mm. yeah, exactly. who, were, who were wonderfully helpful. When I right. moved to my area, they invited me out for a big lunch. Right. Um, I can go there to have 
a, a blood test. I can go there for contraceptives. Oh, that's, oh, that's, you know, but, you know, well, that's good for you. Yeah, they provide all kinds of services if I need mm. them. Right, um, right. And uh, because I pay my taxes here, it's all, it's all free. Do. The staff members who work for the residence committee, they're not necessarily just you know, the retired people. Sometimes right. they get paid. And so is it something similar that, I mean, I'm still trying to find the equivalence mm, to right. what we have already had. Right. Uh, is that something closer to what you're talking about? Well, I think some of the, some of the NGOs or maybe like the Women's Federation in China or mm. maybe Red Cross in a mm. way, they're playing the roles of, you know, social work uh, because they help people, you know, certain groups of people mm. uh, who are in need. Uh, and also maybe the residence committee. You know, those people who work there on a daily basis to work in the neighborhood. Mm. So, you know, if people have some problems, they deal with, you know, domestic issues, they might go to the community and, you know, ask those grandmas or mm. retired uh, people, seniors, to help them out. So they're playing the roles of social workers in a way. Wh and where also, do you work now? Well, I'm working for an education institution. You know, not exactly social work, but again, it carries the social work spirit because we're trying to help people, uh, you know, help the uh, young kids to like yourself well you know that's the point <laughs> yeah, well, there you go. Well, good to hear that that was yeah. me that was me. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, right yeah. uh to uh not just be test takers mm. we want them to develop the right manners the uh, the right personality the attitude uh the uh, the right values and make sure they can think critically they can think uh you know uh uh, more, they have more cultural awareness, mm. you know, when they become, uh, this is the 21st century, I mean, come on, this is getting, you know, more and more challenging. So it's they a, need all kinds of skills. Yeah. You but, know, but, to, but someone wouldn't go into social work. Well, it's still, you know, this, like I said, it's a, it's a helping profession. In this though. day and age where people are more concerned about the salary that they're earning. Mm. Right. Um, I but, agree with that. So it, why would someone be encouraged to be a social worker? Do they, do or, they get well paid? Say, say in America um, first. Because in America, uh, for yeah. example, if you go, um, Let's talk about the place I went to, Milwaukee. Uh, as a college graduate, uh, whether you have a bachelor's degree or a master's degree in social work, probably the starting would be thirty to thirty-five thousand U.S. dollars. So that's pretty much like that's the middle class. Kind of low. Salary. Well, well, you know, mm, lower, a lower. little bit lower okay. middle class. Mm. Uh, if you are like, uh, for example, you are computer science, engineering, or maybe like math, uh, you know, graduate, or probably make forty-five to fifty. Thousand mm. uh, and social work. Well, I've, I've heard that social workers in in New York, you know how expensive is New York? Mm. They're still paid like thirty thousand or something. So you have to go in it for the love. Well, definitely, definitely. And you know, if you talk about the qualities for social workers, love is definitely number one. Mm. If you don't have the love, you don't feel that you're, you're you don't have the passion. You don't want you don't even want to help people. So it doesn't even make sense. For so you how, would, how, do, how do you see the Chinese social worker? I can see the English one in my mind. I can also right, see right. the American one, like you, you know, right. good people. Like, but right. what's a Chinese social worker look like? Like me. Like you. They should. But, they but, should look but like you. Well, I think I look like you, too. I mean, I think I look like anybody. But, but how's the government here going to make it different? Because <laughs> essentially, it's China. Everything is, it's socialism with right. Chinese characteristics. Right. Right. It's gonna <laughs> be, they're going to be Good. social workers with Chinese well, characteristics. Right. Exactly. Right. Right. exactly. So, 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 so what, is it, what are they going to get so paid? Really cool what, what are they going to do? What's their training? I mean, how's it going to be different? I'm right. sure you right. have a large role to play, actually, in the future, since we're talking about it. Oh, definitely. I look forward to that. two million people in about three, two years. I look forward to that, actually. Start a training school. Definitely, definitely. If there's a role I can but the thing is, you yeah. said, I mean, we, we need the loving heart to start oh, with. Oh, definitely. You, you do. And that's, that's I think it, 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 initially that's how I got into social work mm. because I, I went to the U.S. I wanted to make a change. And then, I, you know, I was thinking, what kind of a program do I need to go into? Mm. And I want to understand people. I want to understand society. I want to make sure that our society is getting better and better, not worse and worse. Mm. So and I, I feel like I have a mission, you know, as a person that I want to change the world for the better. So where else to go? You know, and then, you know, I talked to my American mom, you know, I mean, she's the retired professor from my school. So she told me, why don't you come to my social work program? Mm. So oh, there I was. Nice. That well, was, uh, there I was, you know. let's, let's take a break first. And when we come back, we'll maybe we'll try to talk about your experiences as a Sounds social good. work. Excited You're watching to share Take a break. We'll be right back. Welcome back to Crossover. And today we're talking about social work. We have Dominic. Mm. Uh, we have Wang Kuo. He's been in this social work area for quite a few years already, starting well, 1998. 1998. That's yeah. the, the year you got the training. Now, in your experience, have you? Do you remember anything mm. you know similar to what Wang Kuo has been describing? Yeah, as I am. Um, 
you know, you got help from social workers. I actually did social work when I was at school because at school we were either we were you forced mean volunteer work. Mm, well, we were forced to join sort of the army we at were school. Forced uh -huh. to join, uh, and okay. and I refused on so moral grounds. Not, that's not a loving heart. Yeah, I well, refused. That's not a loving heart. <laughs> well, I said I said I didn't want to join the army right, where right, we had right. to do all this army stuff. Yeah. I, I blatantly refused. And they said, well, then you have to do social work, right. which actually I quite enjoyed. So I was working with children with learning difficulties, which was great because so I have kind learning of difficulties. Community service, right? Yeah, community service. In the service. US, they call it community service. Yeah, community yeah. service. And uh, actually, I actually really enjoyed it. Yeah. I enjoyed it a lot. Yeah. In England, there's social workers everywhere. It's a, right. Actually, it's quite a good job in England, and people right. really look up to social workers. It's right. a very tough job. Right. And, and people, uh, especially the media, come down on social workers with a ton of bricks when something goes wrong. Right. When, when well, a child dies uh, that should have been in care, and they always blame social services. Right well, that's away. true. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. Um, so they also get a hard rap. But um, it's, it's an honorable job, for sure, and you really have to go into it. Oh, well, definitely, definitely. Well, it's actually, uh, mm -hmm. I think some of the programs like you attended were organized by social workers or mm -hmm. social welfare institutions. Mm -hmm. you know? So, I mean, that's the role they're playing. Let's, right over let's there. get down, say, to, <clears throat> to the details, since yeah, you were sure. expecting in the huge increase in the number of social workers in the coming years right, in China. Right. So where uh, do you see the group of people who need social work workers help? And where do you, th I mean, what are the areas we need the help yeah, from social workers? Yeah, well, number one, I would say the, the migrant workers. Migrant workers. Oh, it's definitely a huge issue. So many, you know, farmers, they're, you know, coming to the city to work as, you know, in construction sites and, you know, they're being security guards. Security guards. So, I mean, you know, they're, there's a lot of issues around, you know, around that, you know, their welfare, their, you know, uh, their health, their children, physical and mental, their children. I there's a lot of seniors children. left at home, mm. you know, who takes care of them. I right. do remember seeing reports about these different large or small uh, organizations trying to help out these migrant workers right, sometimes right. in legal terms because mm -hmm. they have legal uh, advisors, uh, lawyers who are there to help these yeah. Oh, yeah. Uh, all these migrant workers. Right. Or, uh, maybe yeah. the service is already there. It's only we are not aware of that. We're, we're, yeah. Well I, think, well, I think they're playing a lot of the roles already. It just, um, I think social workers probably should play a much more important role in terms of helping the victims and also coordinating all kinds of services to make sure that their benefits, their well-being Mm. you know is protected mm. so i think uh, there's a you know social workers they can work directly with the clients to help them out to support them and also it's important for social workers to be creative you know to uh, integrate all kinds of resources and support mm. and uh, legal advice is definitely one of the things mm. that social workers can bring mm. you know to to help the the migrant workers or whoever mm. that's you know but when you victimized think, when you go about all these services and you think right, about, you right. know, how many social workers are there in the united states millions I, well, I would say, I would yeah. say, I'm not sure about the number, but yeah, it's got to be in the millions. Got yeah. to be, so three million in China is a drop in an ocean, right? right? right. And then it's mm. got to be spread out into a right. system that right. you were saying. Right. And there's so many people that right. need help. Right. Is, it, is this just a kind of token gesture? Well, it's not, to, but well, you've got to start from somewhere. Yeah, you, you have know, to start you, gotta, you, have, you have to start from somewhere. Well, for, for the U.S., the, um, the modern social work, uh, started back, you know, over 100 years ago. It's 1889. It started uh, at a place called Hull House in Chicago. As actually, it was not far from, you know, my city. So um, it started. Uh, it was started by someone that's named uh, Jane, Adam, uh, Jane Adams, and that's for Im European immigrants into the U.S. originally. Mm. You know, because they have, uh, you know, a lot of trouble trying to get used to the life, trying to adjusting to life in mm. America. So they provided some support, you know, they provided, uh, you know, it's actually a resident, you know, whole house, it's actually a house for these people to stay in. And they, can, uh, they get all kinds of training or assistance in terms of education or maybe even artistic support, mm. you know, to help them solve their problems, to help them overcome difficulties. So that's how it started, you know, modern social work, you know, kind of like as, as, a, as a profession mm. in the U.S. And I think, you know, uh, for China, you know, we don't have to, it's similar now that I think about migrant workers. It's kind of like the early immigrants, you know, from Europe to, the, to America. Mm. Uh, we're dealing with similar issues in, in many ways. And uh, there's got to be institutions, you know, in place that um, will ensure, you know, all the, the rights and the benefits of these migrant workers are mm. protected. And their families, too. You know, where do these, you know, uh, where do their kids go to school mm. and their wives and, you know, their, their parents, who is going to take care of them? It's a, it's a whole series of problems, not well, just the migrant I, workers themselves. Yeah, what I'm thinking about is, you know, the plan made up by the, by the government that made by that ministry <clears throat> saying in the coming two, three years is going to be 
a huge increase from three hundred thousand right. into yeah. about two million, and then uh, three, three million, million by twenty twenty, and yeah. that's about in seven years' time. Yeah, who are going to be these social workers? If we are talking about these graduates from universities, and you said, well, you you need to have a loving heart at first to start right. with. That's fine. I mean, that's just just fair to say so. Right. Right. But what about these? Uh, Graduates, these young people themselves. Right. I mean, yeah, sometimes yeah. If, it, if we're talking about a uh, uh, well, with all these wages, the the, the salaries, the we salaries can and everything, yeah, mm. yeah, it won't be high. Yeah. It's doable, maybe sometimes. Right. With, uh, but still, you need uh, to struggle a little bit. Right. I mean, right. how can we expect or how can we encourage all these young students? Right. When they see their peers are now right. working in these multinational companies right, and right. earning high, right. to join the force of uh, social workers, it's a right. tough one, isn't it? Because you need people that actually care as well. Oh, definitely. You, you definitely. don't want people just falling into that uh, job because there was no other option. Right. Exactly. You want it's, smart people who really care. Right. And so you need to be able to build the brand of that position exactly. so that people exactly. want to go into it. Yeah, social work has never been a high-paying job. I mean, mm. Let me just put it that way. Mm. You know, so if you're looking for money, don't go into social work. That's for sure. Mm. Uh, you know, you go into business or you know, doctor, or try to be a doctor, try to be a lawyer. Mm. So uh, I think the number one thing, you know, number one criteria, if you want to go to social work, you've got to have a, you know, got to have the passion, got to have a loving heart. You can't. Well, I know people get into the social work program because it's easy. Mm. You know, it's easy to get into. The admission, you know, standard is. Is lower than the other programs, but that I mean that's never a good reason to get into anything, mm. you know. Uh, so uh, it's 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 hard to, and especially it's hard in terms of just monetary, you know, uh, return. You know, it's hard to just attract people and into into the social work program. It, what it's is very hard, what is know, most rewarding for you then? Uh, the sense of achievement when I see that I can really make a difference in other people's lives. The fact is. Also, is that you studied up to master's level to yes. in social work, but you're not in well, that master, yeah. you're not in that position anymore. You're now in a private enterprise, right, right, right. in education. Why right. did you choose to leave? Good question. Wow, well, mm. that's a good question. Mm. Mm. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Why well, is a foreigner? Yeah. Why well, is a as a as you're a being interrogated now? Yeah, yeah, I know. <laughs> oh God, I regret this. Uh, well, you know, as a, as a foreigner, it was mm. it was you know I had to if I want to work in the U.S. I need to get a legal permit. Mm -hmm. And most of the legal permits were given to high tech jobs. Mm -hmm. You know, so uh, for the U.S. government to you know uh, to grant somebody who's a foreigner to work in the social work areas where there's a you know they can choose a lot of Americans. Mm -hmm. You know, they would rather not. Mm -hmm. So in terms of you know, mm -hmm. uh, even if I have the heart, you know, I have the passion to work there. Uh, you know, there's they, no legal they don't means. Want the heart. They, they, yeah, well, they don't want the heart. You know, mm. they break my heart. You know, basically. <laughs> well, but, uh, uh, that's a very good point. You know, we, yeah. we can uh, expand that discussion a little bit to the groups of people, no matter where they're from, either based in China or right, in America, right, right. where that they are ready for any help from social workers, or so whether mm. they would be willing to accept that or not. We'll talk right. about that after a short break. You're watching Crossover, and today we're talking about social work. We'll be right back. Welcome back to Crossover. And today we're talking about social work, and Wang Kuo has been in that area for over ten years, nearly fifteen years already. Right. Talking about you know the ones who received help from social workers right. are probably the ones what we call the underprivileged, underprivileged, ones, yeah, yeah, you know who need help, right, right. right. Uh, sometimes when we say they need help, mm. they don't acknowledge that, or they they are not ready to admit that. Right, so right. if you go out and say, can I help you? Right. They say no. No. Right. And yeah. like these addicts, <clears throat> like the ones who are in deep, deep trouble, either, I don't know, in, in debt or in, you know, if oh, they have that definitely. drug problem. Yeah. Oh, definitely. And if you, you want to help out, because right. that's what you do. And right. uh, you've been arranged by certain institutes to help out. Right. But right. they are not ready to take that. Right. And what do you do? Well, we have a philosophy in social work. People, you know, you cannot change those who are not willing to make a change. Mm -hmm. You know, if the, because it, eventually it comes down to how they make change. We can provide all kinds of support and assistance, mm -hmm. and you know, and and counseling and everything. But eventually, it comes down to them to make the changes, to you know, to to you know, take the actions, you know, to change their behaviors. Mm -hmm. So we can we can only provide the support they need. We cannot tell them, hey, you do this unless they break the law. If they break the law, we do have the right, and the police has the right to 
uh, take legal actions, and we have the legal system has the right to take legal actions, and we as social workers can intervene to uh, you know to enforce certain uh, you know certain actions. So uh, it really depends on. Uh, you know, what are the issues? You know, if it's just drug addiction and he's, you know, this guy's not hurting anybody else, it's not a legal issue, then he can, he can say no. But then, you know, we, of course, we would do the best we can to try to, you know, try to help. Have you had any experience of working as a social worker, say, back in China? Uh, or maybe your friend's experience? Well, I had, well, uh, back in the, uh, a few years back, actually, uh, we were um, teaching, provide teaching assistance in a migrant workers, mm. uh, in, a, in a school for migrant workers, mm. kids. You know, it was, it was, um, it was kind of like a social work thing. You know, we did that every uh, weekend. Uh, we did uh, for a few months and uh, provide teaching, teaching them, you know, English and also uh, some Chinese, maybe some math, if somebody's good at math, and then also teach them like safety issues, how to take care of themselves, mm. uh, you know, health issues. Uh, how to be safe out there, you know, in terms of fire, what they, do they need to do, and things like that. There's so many parts of society in China that I see, right. even just traveling out to villages just outside Beijing in the mountains, you see abstract poverty. Oh, mm -hmm. definitely, definitely. Poverty, poverty again. So that's, just, just, that's... just two, three hours outside of Beijing. Right. So where should social workers be doing their work? I mean, you, you can't spread it out too thinly, but I guess you should also try to right. concentrate on the, the most pressing problems. Oh, definitely, definitely. I mean, so, and, and even in the U.S., I mean, social workers are laid out in different levels. You know, you have uh, social workers on the government level, you know, uh, try to assist the uh, legislators, try to assist the uh, government, uh, you know, workers. Uh, and you also, have, you also have social workers at schools and hospitals and down to, you know, little communities and maybe uh, there's a, uh, you know, a little neighborhood center like where I used to work, you know, uh, you have social workers. So it, it's gotta be, you gotta have social workers on the top level you know, who can influence policy making, you also need to have social workers at the grassroots mm. to make sure that they help, you know, people in need, uh, people who are poor on a daily basis, you know, and they work people on, you know, day to day. So uh, you need to, uh, you know, plan your layers and make sure you, on, on each level, you have all the social workers. I work guess in, in America and in, in, in China, we are at two different stages, I guess. In oh, America, definitely, definitely. I, mean, I, would, I would say so. It's pretty mature already. And in China, definitely. we're only starting to beat up this system. Right. Right. of social workers. So uh, what, what do you think of the, because we don't feel the differences. Right, right. And what about you? I mean, what are the differences? Where do they lie? Right, right. Uh, in terms of the maturity of the, uh, the system. Right. Well, I, I think there's a, well, you gotta, you gotta look at the top first. In terms of the government policies, uh, social policies, uh, there's gotta be favor, po favorable policy. There's gotta be investment. Let me just put it that way. It's got to be favorable government? from the government uh, in terms of money, in terms of resources, and in terms of manpower. There's got to be a lot of input. And I think NGOs need to play a much bigger role than they're doing right now. Because in terms of the registration, NGOs, the, the, the process can be complicated and there's a lot of restrictions. So I think if that loosens up, you know, uh, there's more NGOs, there's more funding coming in from the general public. And there's a lot of people who are willing to give their money away if they, you know, who it was, we're not short of money here in China, you that's know. Right. Uh, so a, well, you know, a lot of people are willing to give money away to do charity right. and, you know, that's a Chinese tradition. They we want to help other people. Only need a channel to do so. Yeah, yeah. And that's for your own good too, if you yeah. help other people, you know, yeah. give, give people money away or provide help. So, yeah. uh, and NGOs need to play a much bigger role. Why would you say there's a lack of NGOs then in China? Well, because everyone, well, you know, like in the U.S., well, I've, I've, being involved in the neighborhood center, I've been involved in a, in a place that's called home care and hospice. Mm -hmm. So if I compare those places with what we have in China now, uh, we don't have those places, mm -hmm. hardly. You know, they're not so, mature and those enough. are just, huh? They're not mature enough? They're still sort of young and small, the NGOs here? Or they're just, is it too not difficult to Well, some, some it just, mm -hmm. there's, uh, there, in some areas, uh, they're just missing. Mm -hmm. And in some areas, just, there, there's a shortage, mm -hmm. you know, just not enough. Uh, mm. So many people need it. They're just so. What you're saying is that the government needs to put pressure on the society, the people, to get more involved in charity and NGOs. So oh no, 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 no! I mean, the government needs to think more on, you know, from the perspective of, of the well-being of the general public. Mm. You know, what one, one child policy actually is is a social policy. Yeah. You know, it was it's it's been working yeah. in a way, but you know, there's some, uh, you know, downside too. Uh, but I mean, we need a lot of. Uh, Policies like that, and not just one child policy. We need a policy as to how we can really improve the well being of the people. Mm. But uh, how can you, what policy would encourage people <coughs> to set up NGOs then? Oh, you know, think, well, there's, you know, there's a number for uh, domestic violence, mm -hmm. 
you know, for, like I said, you know, for migrant workers, mm -hmm. for the uh, addictions, mm -hmm. and also for um, kids. There's a lot of uh, kids uh, trafficking, you know, uh, handicapped, you mm -hmm. know, well, taking kids away. And, well, and what we're saying is not to encourage people to set up all these NGO organizations. People have, people have the intention and enthusiasm to do right. so. Mm -hmm. oh, definitely. It's only, well. you know, he, he's saying the government needs to loosen up the environment you a little need bit to, to yeah, make, yeah. make it possible. Right. Make it you possible. Need to, yeah, you need to have a system in place so that people have, they know where to go, mm. you know, when they want to you know, donate money or provide help or whatever. And you also have places where you can put what about, all these social workers. What about mm. public, public awareness? Definitely. That's one thing, because right now, people, when they, when they talk about social workers, some people are like, you know, we what? don't understand what, what do you understand? About? What, what is social work? You know, mm -hmm. what is social work even about? Mm. So there's a lot of issues. Uh, that we need to raise the awareness of the social workers, mm. uh, raise the awareness of the general public, and uh, just like uh, psychology, you know, uh, psychotherapy. You know, people think, well, you know, uh, I'm mentally ill, and, you know, I'm unwilling to admit that. But who would say <laughs> I'm mentally ill? Yeah, who wants to say that? Well, you know, uh, nobody, nobody's willing to admit uh -huh. that. But that's, you know, but more and more people start to realize that, you know, it's okay to sometimes have some trouble, you know, with your mental status. Well, people here aren't, you, an, people here aren't used or... to leaning on the state, though. I mean, it's, the minute something goes wrong in England, you know, with your health or mental health, you, mm -hmm. you know that you can right. rest on the government. But here, it's something new. Yeah. So people w will solve the problem within the family first. Right, right, right. If they can't do that, they'll find someone who knows somebody who knows a doctor oh, in the definitely. hospital. Oh, definitely, mm. definitely. Um, and it's all about going through your, your chain of guanxi or connections. Right, right, right. No right. one's used to falling back on a social... System. So it's, it's so young here, isn't it? Right, it is very young. One, we don't know how to do so. Second, we don't know the, the existence, the very yeah. existence of social workers. Right, right. Mm -hmm. now, exactly. If you come down to that specific example you were, you were mentioning, talking about these mentally, you know... Mental patients, people, mentally people. challenged people, mm -hmm. yeah. Uh, right. I mean, <laughs> if the social workers are always there to get down to help, you know, the ones who are mentally challenged right, or, right. or the, the underprivileged ones... Right, right. Where do they go for their their own, say, counseling? That is that is uh, that is quite uh, a tough issue uh, mm -hmm. because for social workers, it's, it's a very stressful job. It you is. deal with people's problems all day, you know, mm -hmm. uh, day in day out, and sometimes it, it really you get burned out mm -hmm. just exactly. by just I by taking care you're of like a trash bin. Right? Oh well, yeah, I mean, everybody's dumping their mm -hmm. trash, you know, and, you know, into this you know into this basket. So it is it is tough, and that is why it's important that. Um, social workers need to have their own support system.